Yeah. Are you excited for the show tonight? Oh my god, I'm so scared. <laughs> and I'm really excited. I'm like anxious though. It's like mixed between scared and anxious. And happy because I'm really excited to do this. And this is my first time hosting. I just recently got a television show. And I'm excited to... Yeah, it's, it's going to be fun. Yeah. I can't wait for tonight. So thanks for joining me tonight. Yeah. We're going to have some fun. We're going to hear some amazing performances with some exceptional lighting, and uh, we're going to take you through all kinds of styles of music. Take you through pure imagination. Are you ready? Are you ready, George? Let's do this. Who is our first performer? Um. If you want to do switching between voices because um, I was normally a belter to begin with and working with April working at Bella I've sort of developed a middle voice and a head voice I've sort of developed a wider range and how to um, switch between them without sounding awkward or things like that. How to sing. Pretty much everything from, from being pretty terrible at, uh, at trying to get a noise out of my mouth last year to, to now I'm ready to go, actually go out on stage and perform in front of live people um, it terrifies me, but uh, given what I've learned in the last six or eight months, it's been a, a wonderful experience to go from being able to consider myself as having never sung in, or not singing and to sing, saying that I have actually enjoy singing and I'm prepared to do it in front of people. Just like, like all the basic techniques and like she's so, she, she, she has a really cool way of teaching and she, I, I, I've learned a lot from her. Well, honestly, I think it's been very therapeutic. It's been great. It's it's something I get to do on the side with you know all the busy things going on in my life, and it's overall just been fun. I've definitely become a lot more confident in my voice and what it's capable of, and I think that she's taught me a lot of things where stuff that wasn't making me sound better, but to me, it's. It's what I thought would make me sound better, but, it, but I need to follow the technique that she teaches because it really does help. Like, once you practice it a lot, it starts showing in your voice. Mm -hmm. She helps, just like makes me like suck less than I already do. I think April's really fun. Uh, I like that she's really focused in things um, like shows and, and when you're working things, but she also knows how to like keep it from getting too intense, too, um, too much pressure. And I like that she brings you back for things. Um, once you've made enough progress and, and she really likes what you've been able to do, she'll bring you back to help out with things. She'll bring you back to keep you involved. Uh, so yeah. April's a delight. I mean, it's a fun lesson. Why? I enjoy coming to the lessons because it is fun and yes, it's always a challenge and I, I appreciate that because if, uh, if you didn't get challenged to the next level, you wouldn't keep improving. And I really appreciate the way that uh, the, the whole focus early on is just to, to get the voice out, to get over that fear that we all have of 
actually singing in front of somebody, no matter whether we're good, bad or indifferent, we don't know, but until we get the voice out, then you can't get the voice out right, first of all. And I've just really appreciated the fact that, that it's never a critical voice, it's always a, that's great, and try this, uh, and just then we get to a certain level and then um, get challenged to the next level, and that's been terrific. I think she's really fun and friendly. Yeah. I mean, she's nice. Like, she can get, like, tough, I guess. Um, but she is a great vocal coach, and I we actually worked on a musical together, and it's a really long story. She's really cool. She's really chill. She's both really patient, yet she can be very, um, straight at the same time, but it's not too much. She's a really great teacher. <laughs> I think she's funny and yeah, she comes up with like funny little acronyms. I'd have to say that from, from my own experience that if you think you can't sing, you're wrong. I certainly thought I couldn't sing for the vast majority of my life. I felt that I couldn't sing, I wouldn't sing, I was a no-show, don't sing person until circumstances suggested that I did sing and I didn't want to be bad at it anymore and all I really, my challenge for myself was I didn't want to be a, to, to the worst person at a karaoke, I didn't want to suck and we've gone so far beyond I didn't want to suck. April said right at the beginning you won't suck by the end of summer and I think she was spot on. Oh I think I'm just, I'm really happy for um, all the things that she's doing right now. Her book and the lessons, I think it's, it's really cool. <laughs> Hey!